honestly, we didn't talk about Miami University of Miami football at all. I knew nothing about the program. I knew none of the players. I didn't know Carl Gables, the University of Miami, was that close to where Liberty City was. So we really had a clue until Miami actually started sending me letters and recruited me. Miami was one of the first colleges to send me a letter. And I think that's really what put them high on my list. As a young kid, when you get that first college letter, you walk around with it and it's a school, show all the girls, show everybody that you know this, this, this program wants me. So I ended up calling Coach Alexander. I said, Coach, listen, go get me some help. He said, what do you mean? I said, go find some other players. You don't have to worry about me. If you need me to get on the phone to help other guys, I'll do it. The first college football game I ever went to was the University of Florida versus the University of Miami. My high school coach took me to the game, and it was packed, about 72,000 people. And I didn't know what to expect. I didn't need, I really didn't even know who to cheer for because I didn't know, I had never heard of the University of Miami and I really had really never heard of the University of Florida. And, um, and then all of a sudden some smoke came out of the tunnel and a football team with orange jerseys came running out of the tunnel. And I said to myself, that, that's where I want to be. I got hooked on the University of Miami from there on. I was a big time recruit. I went through the recruiting process. They were probably wondering if I was going to come to Miami, but that one episode at the Orange Bowl sold me on the University of Miami right there. So, you know, deep down inside, I was going to the University of Miami no matter what. I recall Alonzo and I talking in the wee hours of the morning. I said, hi. I said, come on, talk to me. I said, where, where are you leaning towards? He said, uh, I don't know. Where are you leaning towards? I said, uh, I don't know. He said, I kind of like Florida. I said, Gainesville? I said, man, that place is country, man. I mean, how can you survive in a in country place like that? And he said, well, I kind of like uh, Tallahassee because of the girls of Florida a and you know, the school right down the street. There's some cute chicks on the campus. So I was like, so you're going to go for some, some chicks? No, 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 no. But I don't know. We, so we're going back and forth, tug of war for about an hour. I said, you know what, Lonzo? Honestly, I think I'm going to stay home and go to the U. He said, for real? I said, yeah. He said, you know what, honestly, I was thinking the same thing. I said, well, damn it, why you didn't tell me this? I mean, we're going back and forth. I was born in uh, Ocala, Florida. I moved to Gainesville to go to high school. Been recruited probably since the ninth grade, illegally, I might add, by the University of Florida. I still can remember Coach Solinger, Don Solinger, coming out to our practice one day. Here it is, this guy comes out in the University of Miami jacket and, and I, I said, I can't believe that's Miami out here. And, you know, I wanted to go up and say, hey, I'm Lamar Thomas. And, and actually, I, I did walk up to him and I said, hey, coach, uh, I'm Lamar Thomas. And he said, I know. And that was the start of my uh, relationships with uh, the University of Miami. When Michael Irvin called, I had to make that trip. To be able to come down and hang out with that guy was amazing because his confidence level was what I, I took from that. He had a. 280ZX or something like that. And, and on the front of it, it said Playmaker. And people waving at him in South Miami. And everywhere we went, people stopping him. I was like, man, you are the man. And he, you know, he told me point blank. He said, they said that you're pretty, you could be pretty close to me. And I said, what do you mean? He said, they said you're pretty good, man. I said, well, I mean, I'm not as good as you. He said, I know. Lamar Thomas, I said to him, I want to make sure you're worthy of being a hurricane. I want to make sure, what are you talking about, Michael? They recruited me. I don't care what they're doing. I want to make sure you're worthy of being a hurricane. But he said, if you work hard and you come down here and, and get with me, I'm pretty sure when I leave, you might be able to take over. I want to see, son. I want to see if you can replace these hands. These hands are leaving and going to the pros. I want to make sure you can replace these hands. I'm the one that's on ABC, CBS, PBS, TNN, every station, every week, and that's all people see. You come down here, you'll be on TV every weekend dominating. I thought about it. I said, man, where do I sign? 